Hey, I think I'm going back. What's up? It's a culture detective here investigating your favorite albums and today I'm going to be doing a quick album review of the new sleep token album Take me back to Eden. My laptop just went to sleep. So sleep token is a British alt metal alt pop rock outfit and this is their third studio album and yeah word have been circulating that this album is bad and so i listened to it and yes it's really bad and now i'm going to talk about how bad it is it's uh mainly i think the the issue with the album is how clean and sterile the production is i think one of the worst qualities a metal album can have is having clean and sterile production it's just so squeaky clean there's no energy there's no excitement to it and it's bland and then we have the performances which are all extremely corny and melodramatic and it's like evanescence but but way cringier and way cornier so the album opener chokehold you get the repetitive gent guitars that are as boring as ever the vocals are so melodramatic and so epic. It tries so hard to be mysterious and serious. It's just hilarious. It's it's goofy, it's corny. I don't know why did I just make all those rhymes. It's pretty impressive actually. Then we have the summoning which is really calculated. The bore uh, the instrumentals are extremely boring. You get these sci-fi synths that just do not match with the tone at all. And also, a lot of people uh don't mention but God damn, the lyrics are corny as hell. The lyrics are corny as hell. Take the second track, The Summoning. Oh, I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to look at the lyrics. Oh, and my love, did I mistake you for a sign from God? Or are you really here to cast me off? Or maybe just to turn me on? Because these days I would be lying if I told you that I didn't wish that I could be your man. Or maybe make a good girl bad or maybe make a I've got a river running right into you I've got a blood trail red in the blue like okay <laughs> and then we have the third track granite the pop elements of this track is borderline Ed Sheeran with the subtle keyboards and the small tiny vocal harmonies it's literally Ed Sheeran in the flesh and then on top of that they have to slap a trap beat and then in the end of the track we get the metal explosion it is as corny as ever why are they doing this why we have aqua regia the verses are absolutely corny but the big piano hits during the chorus are not bad i guess the track Vor, we have some distorted guitars that are very thick, the performances are passionate, but also the whole track is super bland and drenched in reverb. Following that, we have the track Ascensionism, which is a 7 minute long epic track with dramatic bitter pianos and trap beats which do not fit at all, and the outro just drags on and on and on. Following that, we have Are You Really Okay, where every single instrumental basically clash with each other. We have some reverby, spacey guitars, and basic drums, and right off the bat, given how dramatic it is, it's like Imagine Dragons. A lot of people make this comparison, and they're right. This band sounds like Imagine Dragons. We have The Apparition, with the sequenced trap beats and the robotic vocal effects, which immediately saps all the energy that this track originally could have had and then we have these keyboards and guitars and vocals all slathered on top of one another without any sort of layering whatsoever it's so overwhelming yet so sloppy at the same time and then following that we have do you wish that you love me which by the name of the title you can already tell that it is a bland millennial gen z type electro pop track and then you get these weird lyrics where the frontmen make these weird assumptions it's like it's like the chain smokers co-wrote this track or something which is by the way a really bad thing so once again i'm gonna take a look at the lyrics a little bit just a wee bit Where is it? Do you roll with the waves or do you duck into deep blue safety? Is it always the same? Do you wish that you love me? 
Do you pull at the chains or do you push into constant aching? Each and every day, do you wish that you love me? <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah, then we have rain with the big hand claps and stomping beats. We really don't need that shit. We really don't. The title track is 8 minutes and 20 seconds long. Why? There's the, a whole prog rock structure to this track, but because the songwriting is bad, the production is bad, it just really becomes a long extended goof fest. The album ends off with Elucid, which is, of course, it has to end off with a super emotional piano ballad that just makes the listener just go, oh, so sad, oh my god. And there's just something about it, there's something so clean and safe about it that just reminds me of like Christian gospel rock music, something like Godsmack would make. So yeah, this is not a very good album, uh, very corny, very bland very over dramatic very tacky i'm feeling a decent two out of ten on this album so have you listened to this album comments below let me know subscribe you one more and thanks for watching